When we started Carousel in 2001, a typical monitor might be 800 by 600 pixels, and a laptop was even smaller at typically 600 by 480 pixels. So as you can see, we built our screens around the 800 by 600 resolution of a typical monitor. Over time, monitors got to have more and more resolution. The next step up in monitors was 1024 by 768. And as you can see, the of our programs did not change, but they became smaller on the screen as the resolution of the screen got bigger. Today, Today it's not uncommon to find a monitor with a resolution of 1280 by 1024. That's almost become the standard way for a monitor today. Uh, but you can see our screens then look smaller even yet, taking up only a quarter of the screen. And today it's not uncommon to find screens with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So our stuff looks smaller yet even there. Let's say you decide to go and get a 4K television monitor and use that. A 4K television monitor is resolution of 3840 by 2160. And you can see there our screen is really, really tiny. And the numbers are really, really hard to see. This is, in fact, the resolution of the monitor that I use to develop these programs. Some of you may know that for years now, we've been able to stretch a few of our screens. So as an example, the Quick Quote program can be stretched to almost full size, as can the inventory display screen. However, the programs that you use the most cannot. If I grab the corner of the inventory screen, you can see I can make it wider, but if I go in and look at the data, it's still tiny. Same thing with the deal program. The problem with this are the tabs. The tools that I can use to stretch a screen for quick quote and inventory display do not work with tabs. You can see here that the inventory program has six tabs on it. For a long time, I couldn't figure out how to get around this problem. About two weeks ago, I decided maybe the answer is to get rid of the tabs and substitute the tabs for buttons. Then I should be able to use my tools to stretch the thing and see the data. So here you can see the a bigger version of the stock number 2229, the costs, who we bought it from. You can go and print stuff on it and you can finally update it. I do have one restriction and that is the stretching can only be done from the main screen. If I try and stretch some of the subsidiary screens, I can't do it. The two different programs will function very similarly, except for the fact that the new one uses buttons and the old one uses tabs. The utility function has been changed a little bit in that some of the things on the tabs, the vendor and the about, have been moved to the utility function. The find stock number by make function has also been moved to the utility function. But when you select a stock number, you can see that they look very, very similar. And they should because I didn't change that part of the program. The significant difference is the tabs on the old system had been replaced by buttons on the new system. The tab 2 button on the old system is now replaced by next tab on the new system. Next tab meaning the next button. And I've also added a fuel function to the program, something I've been meaning to do for a while. You still get the flyout boxes as you did before. The checking of the data is still done as it was done before. In the old system, if you wanted to go to the next page, you could either get there by tab 2 or car costs. You can still do that with next tab or costs. So here's costs on both systems. You'll see they look absolutely identical except for the tab and button field. The purchased from is now bought from. The forms are now print forms. There is another significant difference in that in the old system, you had to enter all three of these first tabs 
to before you could save the data. If all three tabs weren't entered, you couldn't save the data. That means if the program blew up while you were entering the data on the third tab, you had to go and start all over again. In the new system, you can do that anytime you want. And you do it by clicking the Update X. In the old system, you would finish by clicking the Save Data button. In the new system, you finish by clicking the Update X button. There was a reset button on the old system, and the reset button is now here on the new system. The old system lets you look at the vendor within the tabs. The new system, you have to go to the main screen, click the vendor button. and then select the company you want to work with. I started this project using the inventory program because the inventory program was the very first program I ever wrote for this system. And I learned a lot of stuff after having written it that went into the later programs. My plan is to go and do this same sort of thing for the deal program and the self-finance program and the admin programs. Those should be a lot easier because an awful lot of the work I had to do in the inventory program has already been done when I wrote those other programs.